Well, this is a fantastic anchor because as you can see, it's made out of aluminum. A lot of fantastic things are made out of aluminum. And this is what you'd call a jetty anchor for going in jetty rocks. I don't have the time spread out very far, but years ago, me and a buddy of mine, old Pelican, the Pelican, him and I used to make our own jetty anchors. Because the local ones that you buy at the bait shop are all rebar with a hollow tube. This thing, it doesn't weigh a ton, but this one was made from these people here. The grapnel. I've got these on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Uh, this is a big one. The large version. It doesn't weigh a ton, but when me and Pelican used to make these out of solid stock with cold rolled steel, we would always, not on all of them, but what we would do is put blades on the end like that for digging into sand. So we can make this into a sand anchor, a jetty anchor, or anything. So, since I've got a handy dandy, fancy pantsy welding machine here, the MP2000i from Eastwood, with my gun, with my bottle full of gas, argon, I guess. Is it 100% argon? Yep, argon, 100%. And I am going to tack these on the end. So this can not only go in the rocks, but it will dig into the bottom. The bottom. This is the small version right here. Here's all my big anchors. That hang off my bow. They're 20, about 20 pounds. This one's a little light. I'm saving this one for when I get my John boat. You know, my 16 foot flat bottom John boat. Wide body. Yeah, baby. So, this is going to be the project. So, it doesn't really have enough weight to really dig in. So I'm going to tack these on here and hopefully my skills of aluminum welding will be adequate. All right, I might have it figured out. So close your eyes. It takes a little while to get this all figured out. I didn't go to Tulsa Welding Institute. I got stuff I'd like to do on the boat. And let me tell you, I don't trust myself. But let's give this a shot. Let's go here. There's one of the blades. that biatch is on there even though it looks like an abortion that be on there come on Whew, that looks really bad so I got five more to do so hang on all right I'm getting it pretty good it's hotter than holy hell and I'm I'm sweating in the welds I think I got the setting pretty good, enough to get the job seriously done here. Good enough for uh, a disposable anchor like they all are. I can see what the tendency is to beginning welders. You always want to overdo it, and that's what I that's what I always do. 
but it's because you're not sure what the hell you're doing, you know. You know you ain't doing nothing in the state of Florida if you don't go through two or three t-shirts a day. Let me overdo it a little bit. I've been taught by YouTube. And I have a low attention span if it ain't knives, trucks, or fishing. I bet you I could still break that thing off and it's it's welded on there pretty good. Because everything at the jetties is a torture test. I'm pulling away too quick, I know. I'm not letting the gas do its thing. Well, here you go. I ain't done done. You can see I got some penetration. Over penetration. Ooh, that's still hot. A little over penetration. But hey, that's the reason why I got it. I just need to fix stuff every once in a while. Uh, let's see, which is my best one? Maybe right there. Maybe right there. I don't know. They look, they all look globulish, globules, but it'll hold, I'm sure. But that's, I'm going to grind these a little rounder and all with the grinder. So they're not like, it's not like a total weapon. <laughs> Well, I kind of ground down all the sharp edges, but I'm still not happy. I remember doing this to an anchor that me and Pelican made, like I was talking about before. Cold rolled steel bar, outside tines welded to the outside with a, with a loop for the trip. And then we run the chain and we secure it down here. I remember doing it to one like this, and the first drop I lost it on something. So... I think this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to buzz down this on an angle. And I'm going to make these come in. So I got little scoops at the end. And that's it. So I still ain't done. I still ain't done tinkering. I'm done. I remembered back when me and old Pelican used to make anchors. I took... One of the ones we made, and I put those shovels on the end, and I instantly lost it because those shovels were so big, and everything. I don't know why, but it was just fate, I guess. So, there's the shovels I put on, and I ended up reducing them in size. Since the weld was all over the place, I had to just kind of cut them down and then I ground them. So that little pocket right there will grab some meat on the bottom. And hopefully this anchor, which really I could never use in sand because it's, it's relatively light. Now, of course, I use 20, 15, 20 foot of chain. Um, but it didn't matter it, it, in the current and on a hard bottom, this thing would just skip along the bottom. So there's a Sunday project. Hope, hopefully this will be maybe the best jetty anchor ever around aluminum and it can bite into the mud and the sand and the rocks. So, that's it. Just a little project. You know, anchoring around here is such a struggle sometimes. If you don't want to spend, you know, go spend 10 grand or whatever on some damn trolling motor and the mounting and the batteries and the charger and the bolts and the screwing around and then have that son of a bitch just break on you. I'm just keeping with the anchoring thing, so. Thanks for watching. This is just a little project that I've been thinking about. I'll talk to you later on.